It's finally March, you know what that means. Daylight savings time? Spring break for you peeps? No, it's fall in the games. I'm like, I finally get this stupid item in black and white. You know how long that item has burdened me? What is it? What? It's a Pokeball. I have been wondering what that item was for like months since I first got that game and they taunted you with that stupid ass item. I thought it was it had to come in winter because that made sense. It came winter and there was nothing. I looked it up, I found out it was in fall, and I finally go to look it up and it was a Pokeball. A fucking Pokeball. Really game? Yeah. That was hilarious. So, we have a OU battle here against Emperor... And he has a team with like three guys that trap things, and I'm just like, that's not fun. And I really don't like facing Wildfet, because I feel like it should be banned on principle, not on actual use of utility, because I just don't like the idea of not being able to switch guaranteed. But, yeah. So, for leads, I decide, you know what, I'm just gonna go with Hydreigon. It pairs up against the majority of his team, has a super effective move, or can hit pretty much anything on his team really hard and outspeed it. So, he ends up leading off with his, um, Landorus T. I'm just gonna predict him to switch out here, since I know he doesn't want to take a special move, so I'm just gonna go for the U-turn. And he goes into his Murdom... And that thing takes it well because of the Intimidate and the lack of attack investment and the fact that I'm timid and pretty much every reason why it will do little. So I go into Dragonite because I know that I can easily take it off with 8. Uh, we're just going to play it safe and go for it. I'm not too scared of Magnezone coming in because I know it's not going to appreciate a Bandit Outrage. So he does stay in just to scout me a little bit and I'm going to e easily take off the road with a Outrage which is nice because that, I don't know, because killing things is good. It's the point of the game. So yeah, he goes into the stupid-ass Wobbuffet, which is dumb, and it's gonna kill me because it's a Wobbuffet, and I don't like it, because it's just like, hey, I switch you in now, now you can't switch out, even though I couldn't switch out anyways because I was locked in Outrage, but still, banned on principle, not on actual use of utility. So, lives a hit, goes for the counter, kills me, and that's what the Wobbuffet does, it's not really important or special or hard to use, it carries one set, and that's what it does. So I decided to go into Breloom now, since I know I can go for the Spore and put him to sleep and stop him from doing stuff. I thought he may have switched out there, fearing me to, like, set up on him with Swords Dances, but I guess I went for the Encore in case I did do that, but... Anyhow, I get the Mob Fet to sleep now, and I'm just gonna go for the Low Sleep, predicting him switching to whatever, just to slow down whatever comes in on the Switch, and maybe I'll be able to deal with it. But if it is this Landorus, I know that I still want <laughs> to do much of Bullseed after the Intimidate, so it really was a just a move just to go for so, Low Sweep still does little, like I said, after the Intimidate. No real point in staying in and going for the Bullet Seed, so yeah, I'm going to just be coax the switch out here. I decide to figure that, since I do see the leftovers, I'm thinking that he's a standard Landorus and he's going to go for the rocks. So I decided to go into my Stormy predicting those rocks, but he goes for the U-turn, which is like, that mi uh, Poop face. Damn it. Like, really? That made me look really stupid. So, Stormy almost dies. It's like, cool, my Stormy's still useful, right? No, because he has no trio, so he's just gonna go to that thing, trap me again, and proceed to kill me because he is faster than me, which I thought it was, I thought they were both 115, but Dark Trio's 125. I don't know why. I always think Dark Trio's 115. I don't know. Whatever. So it kills me off with an earthquake, and yeah, that's, that, that's trap number two, and I think that's it. Well, whatever. I want to reel him now since I know he can't really do much to me, or I thought he did, couldn't do much to me, but he has Aerial Ace, so Reelum's gonna die right off the bat. So that thing's dead, and that made me look stupid. Now, I think I've said that like 45,000 times, but I didn't go for the Mach Punch because I was like half predicting him to go into like Magnazone or something. I don't even know why I didn't go for the Mach Punch. I guess I just wanted to low sweep something on the Switch again, but probably should go for the Mach Punch there, but whatever. Go into Hydreigon, go for the Fire Blast because I know it can hit all of his team for good damage that the Rotom's gone. Touch the Wild Fit and miss the first one. It doesn't really matter since it's asleep and he is going to be sleeping, so it, again, doesn't matter, since I'm just going to hit the next two and kill him off, and he's not going to switch, because Wild Fit's kind of good for one counter or mirror coat, for the most part, so Wild Fit's gone, which is nice, and yay, I'm happy and stuff, so now I think he's going to switch into his Landorus, or Landorus, right? Yeah, Landorus, and here I'm like, uh, I could I could stay and go for the Fire Blast, I may be a tool KO, depending on what kind of sprite, I'm still not really sure what kind of Landorus this is, because I'm not seeing Stealth Rocks yet, but aside, you know what, he's probably just going to U-turn again, so I'm going to go into Heat Trend predicting that, to really no avail, because he steals Rock in the Doug Trio, so, as soon as you switch your Heat Trend in, this thing comes in, and then it just instantly kills your Heat Trend, so, Heat Trend's dead as well, so, that thing's also gone, didn't get my rocks up, didn't get to show it off, this team is just, not really. Oh, I don't know. I don't really don't really want to blame the team. It doesn't exist anymore. But I knew there there was a core in this team that I knew worked, and I did take that core out, and I did change this team a lot. Like half the guys are different, and it works a lot better now. But yeah, going to Hydreigon now since I know can outspeed and take it out with anything. He figures I'm scarfed at this point, so he just decides to get some damage off a of sucker punch, and I just go for the fire blast once again since I know it'll hit all of his team for good damage, and I kill off the Doug Trio. All I guess left is um. I'll say all he has left is like half his team left, but he has Breloom and he has Mangazone and he has Thing left. 
Landry's T. So going to L Liscor, because so I know I can live any hit from Reloom, and yeah, he goes for the Mach Punch, so he is Technoloom like minus. Does very little, and I get my Toxic Orb, which is nice. I decided to just go for the safe Ice Fang, figuring that the worst thing he could do is Swords Dance in my face that or hit me with a Bolt Seed. So, let's go for the safe Ice Fang. Goes into Landris, which I found like a really, really bad play, because w did you not think I would Ice Fang? I mean, Landris is more weak to it than Breloom is. Do get the crit, obviously, that did matter. I, I couldn't have killed him without that crit, but I'm not sure how much it mattered in the long run. Probably not too much, so... Yay, I killed him. That's nice. And now he's gonna go back into the Breloom, and I'm just like, oh, you know what, even though I have the Intimidate, I know that Ice Punch should be a 2 a KO after the Life Orb that I saw. So I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna go for the Ice Fang. He goes, he sets up a Source Dance, which is kind of whatever. He's gonna go for the Bolt Seed now, as long as he only gets 3, I can kill, hit him with another Ice Fang, and then he'll die to Life Orb after he hits me for a second time. But he ends up getting the 4 turn Bullet Seed, and that's gonna be able to take me out just barely, which is pretty poopy face. Not barely, but I do die, and that makes me sad. And yeah, so now this Breloom pretty much sweeps the rest of my team, because my last is Hydreigon, and that's gonna die easily to a Mach Punch, and that is gonna be a game, and a fairly short battle, but hey, I'm uploading. I'm uploading more. If you want more uploads, the quality of said battles will probably deteriorate. That and it's against someone very famous. So, I have to upload it automatically, apparently. I only have to upload it automatically if they're uploading. If they're uploading it, then I have to upload it. So, apparently, that's just how it works. So, good game, nubs. And, yeah, that's gonna be it for today. So, I'll see you guys later for another battle. And whatever. You know how I end these things. Kind of awkwardly. So, yeah. Bye.